In this video we will deal with the design and operation of a liquid in metal thermometer. So let's get started. In liquid in metal thermometers, also referred to as liquid filled thermometers, a liquid is used as a thermometric substance in the same way as in liquid in glass thermometers. However, it is not the thermal expansion of the liquid that is measured, but rather the increase in pressure that goes hand in hand with an increase in temperature when the liquid completely occupies a closed volume. In contrast to liquid in glass thermometers, the volume of the thermometric liquid therefore remains constant. The principle of liquid filled thermometers can be demonstrated with a filled plastic bottle sealed with a pressure gauge. If the water inside heats up, it is tempted to expand. However, since the water completely occupies the volume of the bottle, and it is therefore almost impossible for it to expand, the pressure in the bottle rises very sharply. The higher the temperature of the liquid, the stronger it tries to expand and the stronger the pressure increase will be at a constant volume. This principle can therefore be used to determine the temperature from the pressure rise on a calibrated scale. In liquid in metal thermometers, a tube is wrapped into a coil and filled with a thermometric liquid to indicate the pressure rise. If the temperature of the liquid rises, and with it the pressure, it tries to bend up the spiral tube like a spring. Such a tube is also referred to as a Borden tube. The elastic deformation of the tube at a temperature increase is directly applied to a rotatably mounted pointer. The corresponding temperature can then be read off from a calibrated scale. The working principle of the Borden tube is similar to that of an party horn at children's birthday parties, in which a rolled up paper tube is bent up by increasing the pressure inside. In order that the temperature display and temperature sensor can be spatially separated in a liquid filled thermometer, the Borden tube has only a relatively small inner diameter and thus contains only a small volume of liquid. The largest volume of liquid is in the sensor tube itself, which is exposed to the temperature to be measured. Thus the thermometer reacts mainly to the temperature change in the sensor and not to temperature changes in the housing. If large distances have to be covered, liquid in metal thermometers can also be equipped with a flexible capillary tube that is placed between the gauge and the temperature sensor. If very large heights are to be covered with a capillary tube however, a pressure gradient due to the hydrostatic pressure may have to be considered, which falsifies the measurement result. Liquid-filled thermometers can also be equipped with switch contacts that trigger an electrical signal when a certain temperature is exceeded or undershot. Such thermometers can then be used in control engineering. However, it must be noted that liquid in metal thermometers react relatively slow to temperature changes. This is due to the relatively large heat capacity of the thermometric liquid, as liquids generally require a relatively long time to adapt to the temperature changes. At this point, gases would react much faster to temperature changes than liquids. For this reason, gas in metal thermometers, also called gas-filled thermometers, have been developed, which will be discussed in more detail in another video. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.